Where do vegans get B12? And don't get me wrong, this is a good question. It's a very valid question to ask. It's just that, well, it's usually never stated as a question. Usually it's more like a weapon to attack veganism, even though if it doesn't hold much substance. Questions like this are treated as some kind of vegan kryptonite that will turn us to dust and send us back to the Shadow Realm from whence we came. <clears throat> I, I may have gotten carried away with the analogy, but you get my point. Anyway, back to the question. Short answer is, there are vegan sources of B12. <sighs> oh, you're still with me. Okay, here's the longer answer. B12 is one of the eight B vitamins and is water-soluble with a key role in normal functioning of the brain and nervous system and for the formation of blood. It is normally involved in the metabolism of every cell in the human body, especially affecting DNA synthesis and regulation. Many people will tell you that only animals make B12, therefore you need to eat them. These people are wrong. Just... they're just wrong. Now let me make this clear. B12 is not made by any animal, plant or fungus. It is made by bacteria. As such, there will always be vegan sources of B12, because, let's be honest, no one cares about bacteria. This is about the time where you see people jumping up and down yelling, but look at the study, look at all the vegans that are deficient in B12. I then take a deep, calming breath and ask, does this study say whether vegans were eating B12 foods? Yeah, it says they were eating almost nothing with B12. Well, there's your problem. I mean, come on, people. If you don't eat fruit, you're gonna get a vitamin C deficiency. It's just that obvious. That doesn't mean that there isn't fruit lying on the kitchen counter. It's all explained in my video here about the vegan deficiencies myth. So what are vegan sources of B12? Well, in no particular order, there is... Savory yeast, also known by the cool vegans as Nooch, or my favourite, hippie fairy dust. There's nutritional milks, cereals, spreads, and vegan meats. Vitamin pills, yearly injections, dirt, and of course the lovely Yubhu. The last one is quite interesting and important because it highlights some potentially dangerous advice. Some people may try to convince you that since B12 is made in our poo, we can absorb it in the intestines. However, evidence suggests that by the time B12 is made by bacteria, it's too far down in our intestines to be absorbed. So, you can either eat your poo, or choose any other source I've provided. Any of them. It's your lovely choice to make as a human being living in a free country. Go nuts.